Monash University is Australia's largest research intensive university. We have a number of campuses within Australia, but we also have a number of campuses around the world. Well, Monash has a huge research portfolio across sciences and uh, life sciences, history, archaeology, medicine and engineering. The Monash University eResearch Centre is a university-wide centre that supports research from all of the disciplines and we support the research by underpinning it with advanced computing and IT infrastructure. So we're very keen to get students involved in the cave. Students are the ones with um, the ideas for the next generation, they're the ones with the time and the energy um, to put into doing new things in the cave too. When it came time to choose who, would, who we would build the cave with, uh, Mechdine were the obvious choice. I think it's the experience and the expertise uh, and the quality of the product offered by Mechdine was just very appealing. There were two main real strengths of Mechdine in building the cave too. The first was the project management from the, from the start to the end and the contact and the communication that we had with all the right people in, in the Mechdine organisation. Uh, and the second would be their ability to deliver a product that is um, really up to a, a really fantastic standard. Um, the, the guys who built the cave for us here spent a long time calibrating the screens, making sure they were aligned properly. But then they transferred that knowledge to our people. The Mechdine are the place you go to buy a Cave 2. The Cave 2 facility allows our researchers to be essentially dropped into the middle of their data sets where they can walk around those data sets and rely on their, their intuition and their scientific background to make new discoveries. Almost every researcher these days collects data and needs to look at it and the Cave 2 is one of the best places to look at it. We can understand three-dimensional data, we can understand four-dimensional data, so that's dynamic data, um, and we can interrogate very, very large data sets and explore them, not just as one person, but as perhaps many researchers working together. The Cave 2 facility offers us the highest resolution in contrast, which enables us to investigate uh, scientific data sets and to search out and seek the unknown unknowns. One of the most impressive things of the Cave 2 system is the pixel density. The, the sheer number of pixels and the amount of information we can put up on the screen. We have an incredibly immersive feel um, that's based on our peripheral vision, so the surround nature of the Cave 2 is incredibly compelling. Installing the Cave 2 at Monash has uh, brought a lot of potential projects to light who might use this kind of facility. And we'd like uh, something like the Cave 2 to be a benchmark for visualisation, the place where people come not just from Monash but from around the country or internationally to understand their data in new ways. The future vision for the Cave 2 at Monash is, uh, is to have success in research, to have research that is either being done that couldn't otherwise be done because the Cave 2 is here and is enabling people to look at data in new ways, or to have research that's been accelerated, research that's being done faster because you can look at more data at once. The possibilities with this technology are limitless. We can work with the smallest atom right through to an entire galaxy. This facility inspires us to think about things that we have never imagined possible.